and Splashdown Crew 9 back on Earth. It's been more than nine months in space, but now two astronauts are back on Earth after being stranded on the International Space Station. Space Watch, Space Watch tops 2 News Nevada at 4.30. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Ariana Bennett. Kristen has the week off. Thanks for keeping it here. Well, last night, the astronauts took off as part of a four-person crew for a 17-hour flight back to Earth. Christiane Benavides is live in Clearwater, Florida, with a closer look at their return. Christiane? Ariana, that splashdown was just perfectly executed. In fact, it was scheduled to happen around 5.57 p.m., and it happened right about that time. In all, the flight from the International Space Station back to Earth was about 17 hours. Of course, that's nothing compared to the extended stay of nearly 10 months. It's the end of a space saga for astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams following their extended stay at the International Space Station. And splashdown, Crew 9 back on Earth. <laughs> The Starliner astronauts splashed down off the Florida coast Tuesday, capping off their 286-day space odyssey. Freedom is free of its moorings. It's a long overdue trip for Wilmore and Williams. Last June, they blasted off aboard Boeing Starliner for an eight-day research trip. Lots of cheering here in the room, big hugs. But propulsion issues and gas leaks on the spacecraft compelled their extended stay. It looks probably a little cramped, and uh, it's actually fairly roomy. In all, the duo orbited the Earth more than 4,500 times and traveled about 121 million miles. Before plunging through the atmosphere, the capsule carrying the astronauts reaches extreme temperatures with its heat shield protecting the crew. You know, anyone who enjoys roller coaster rides, it's nothing worse than that. Retired British astronaut Tim Peake faced the heat, G-force and muscle loss after spending time on the space station with the European Space Agency a decade ago. There might be some nausea, some dizziness, some vertigo, um, and your bones and your muscles are getting used to that loading as you stand up and walk around. Wilmore and Williams will undergo medical evaluations and quarantine as they reintegrate to life on Earth. Thank you so much for paying attention. Thank you for being with us. A long-awaited return after an extra-long space adventure. Just absolutely incredible. The crew, by the way, has been preparing for this return up in space. They had been doing two to three hour daily workouts that included cardio on a treadmill. It also included doing some uh, strength training exercises, all of it because there's some muscle lo loss that takes place while you're up in space. And now that they're back, they got to get used to gravity once again. Ariana. Boy, I can't even imagine what that would feel like, but great to have them back on Earth.